RX 10,000 finally means high-end GPUs at a great price? But before I get to that, the first Ryzen 10,000 CPU has been spotted, next-gen desktop APUs here we come, and AMD may finally bring their new tech to older GPUs. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. This video is sponsored by Centra AI. AMD's first ever Zen 6 processor has been spotted. Remember that Zen 6 is the architecture for AMD's real next generation CPUs. Think Ryzen 10,000, though they're probably going to be called Ryzen AI something. So far, the Ryzen AI 400 series is more of a refresh, but Zen 6 is the real deal. And the first chip was just spotted in a shipping manifest, where the entry is labeled as Medusa 1 with stepping A0. And this means two things. First, that it's likely an early silicon use for validation, and two, that it's Medusa Point, which is their next-gen APUs. Not only that, but you can see that it mentions 4C, 4D, which almost certainly means four classic cores and four dense cores. What's wild is that the leaker HXL actually leaked a similar chip all the way back in May of 2025. He also mentioned two LP or low power cores, which aren't mentioned here, but that could easily just be that they shortened it when shipped it here. Either way, it also mentions that it's a 28 watt processor as well. Interestingly, HXL also mentioned 8 CUs based on RDNA 3.5 Plus for the iGPU. If that's true, it is a bit of a bummer because it means AMD still hasn't moved things over to at least RDNA 4. Still, it's really interesting to see AMD's next gen finally start to show itself. Here's to hoping it's everything the leaks have claimed. Before you type another task in your your inbox. What if your own AI helpers already knew how to handle it? That's one of the incredible things Sintra AI can do. See, AI is best when it has very specific jobs. So Sintra AI trained helpers to do certain things within your business. For example, one is trained as a customer support specialist. One is a sales manager. Another is an email marketing specialist. You can pick between 12 different personalities to integrate in your workforce. And they've been trained on over 100 thousand plus unique data points. Not to mention you can complete tasks in a hundred plus languages. In fact, their e-commerce manager is helping me with descriptions on some new products in the Meld store. So they're already filling roles in my own business. Not only that, but if you don't love it, you can get a full refund within 14 days. Just go to Centra.ai slash GamerMeld or use code GamerMeld to get an exclusive 72% off all plans and a 14 day money back guarantee. We now have even more confirmation that we're finally set to get an upgrade to desktop Ryzen APUs. Before I get into it, remember the kind of difference we're talking about here. Currently, AMD's best desktop APU is their Ryzen 8700G, and for the time, it really wasn't bad. 8 cores and 16 threads based on Zen 4 with an RDNA 3 iGPU at 12 CUs. But remember, that launched 2 years ago, so we're definitely due for an upgrade. In comes the Ryzen AMD. AI9 HX475. This is set to come with 12 cores and 24 threads, though 4 are full Zen 5 cores and 8 are Zen 5C. So not all that impressive here, but it does get up to 5.2 GHz, though that's only on the full Zen 5 cores. The really big boost though is on the iGPU. Here it gets 16 CUs instead of 12, and that alone is 33% faster than the 8700G, but it also gets a 200 MHz higher boost clock. And in fact, it's 200 megahertz higher than the 890M in last gen's HX370. But here's the thing, when comparing the Radeon 890M and the HX370 against the Radeon 780M, it beats it by around 20 to 25 percent. Yet once again, the newest chip gets 200 megahertz higher boost clocks. Not only that, but the 8700G only comes with 16 tops, while the HX475 comes with 60. And this brings me to a couple new stories, starting with Lenovo's 2026 CES keynote, where they showed off this slide. And as you'll notice, it shows a Ryzen AI Pro 400 series CPU that's clearly for the AM5 platform. Now, this is Ryzen Pro, but when we look at a slide from AMD's CES briefing, we can see that it mentions the first desktop Copilot Plus processor, and it's under Ryzen AI 400, not 
Pro. So this tells us three things. First, that they're almost certainly launching non-Pro models as well. Second, that they're calling them Ryzen AI. And third, that these are the first desktop Copilot Plus processors. That's of course thanks to the 60 tops performance in the MPU, though AI performance isn't all that interesting for most. Still, while I wish this was built on RDNA 4 so we could get support for all the new FSR 4 tech, it's still nice that we're finally getting upgraded desktop APUs. Terrible names aside. While talking new FSR tech, AMD may actually release FSR Redstone on older hardware. During an interview with AMD's senior VP of GPU Technologies and Engineering Software, PC World asked him this. Could there be an opportunity to make like a, a beta version of Redstone that'll run on our DNA 3? So, you, you know, you're not forcing out all users. They, they have to, to go out and reach out for, you know, an experimental kind of thing. Well, that's currently not in the plan, but thanks for the hint. We we. They want to think about something like that and kind of provide that to uh, to people who want to play with that. It's uh, uh, the, the challenge is always uh, uh, how to clearly define that. So if you offer to help us define it mm -hmm. as, a, as a prototype, I'm interested in thinking about that. So there you have it. AMD may work on a beta type software to give RX 7000 users the ability to use FSR Redstone. Remember that one of the big reasons it's only supported in RX 9000 GPUs is because they have support for hardware optimized FB8 compute, while RX 7000 cards do not. But remember that modders have actually been able to add FSR 4 support thanks to AMD accidentally leaking FSR 4 source code. They did this by using a version meant to work with Int 8 instead of FP8, which RX 7000 cards do have. The issue with doing it this way, and likely why AMD never released it, is because it does get a performance hit from using Int 8 instead of FP8. But of course, it still gives you more performance than not having it, plus you get the benefits of FSR 4. So AMD releasing something a bit more official would be really nice. With that said, he does make it pretty clear that AMD isn't currently working on anything like this, but if anyone within the company could implement it, this VP is exactly the guy to do it. And lastly for today, AMD's RX 10,000 GPUs are set to undercut NVIDIA's 60 series in pricing. That's right, AMD is looking to win in price to performance yet again. The difference this time is that if the leaks are right, AMD is going to challenge even NVIDIA's highest in RTX 6090. And that's of course sorely needed given NVIDIA effectively has a monopoly on the highest in gaming GPUs, which of course explains the wild prices they can ask. If you want the absolute fastest gaming GPU, NVIDIA is your only option. Now, you might melt your computer in the process, but Nvidia is still the only option. In fact, given what we've seen from even AMD themselves, next-gen GPUs are looking to get a very nice boost in ray tracing. Don't forget that AMD and Sony co-developed Project Amethyst, a code name that makes up some very impressive new tech set to come in Sony's PS6 and almost certainly AMD's next-gen cards. This story originally comes from a discussion by the very well-known leaker Kepler inside the Anantech forums. First, he mentions that that RDNA 5 is set for release in 2027, which we of course already knew, and that AMD can't launch next gen before Nvidia. As for why, he states that Nvidia's margins are massive, so they can counter just about anything with a price drop. Basically, AMD can't release their cards before Nvidia announces theirs because Nvidia could potentially announce theirs at a lower price. But if AMD waits until after Nvidia's announcement, they can undercut the price, and given Nvidia rarely changes their price after retail announcement, they likely wouldn't hear either, giving AMD a slight advantage. Of course, this is something that AMD has done for years at this point, so it's not much of a surprise. But if they can do to the higher end what they did with their 9070 XT, we could have a price revolution at the high end. Fingers crossed. So while that does it for today, would you love to see AMD push down prices at the high end? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out Centra AI down in the description below. And as always, have a great day.